Hi there and welcome to the Echo Solar Home Tour. My name is Andrew Mills and today we'll be talking about a solar heated and solar powered home in the Huntington Hills neighborhood in Calgary. With me today is Bob Hawksworth who's the homeowner. Welcome to the Echo Solar Home Tour, Bob. Hi Andrew, good to be with you. Thanks for this opportunity. That's great. Bob, your home is an example of an energy efficient home that features solar hot water heating, solar electricity generation, and an upgrade to your home's insulation. Give me a bit of background on why you chose to update your home like this. What were the main things you were trying to accomplish? Well, my main motivation, Andrew, is that I'm worried about my impact on the environment. Um, in fact, the impact all of us are having on the environment. Uh, as you know, when we burn uh, fossil fuels, they give off carbon dioxide that traps heat in our atmosphere. And there's now so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it's actually changing our climate. Mm. And we have to stop this and do something about it. So basically I wanted to see how much uh, I could reduce uh, my use of uh, fossil fuels and, and lower the amount of heat uh, that I need to warm my house and the electricity I need to power my home. Okay, so let's start with your EnerGuide. What's the EnerGuide rating of your home? Well, I, I don't have a current one. I did have at one point that said it was uh, after having made some renovations that it was 79. I think that might have been an old uh, system that was being used. Mm -hmm. um, I've since made some other changes and added power uh, production, but I haven't had an updated um, inner guide rating done or a door blower test, so I don't have a current number for you. 79 out of uh, out of 100 under the old inner guide system is tip is typical of a new home so uh, you're doing fairly well with your uh, current upgrades so so that's great let's uh, talk about some of the pictures of your home now so first of all what would you say is the standout feature of your home oh standout feature well I, there's an accessory building in my backyard and I'll show you some pictures in a, in a bit about under construction, but essentially it's a state-of-the-art roofing system that uses solar panels to provide uh, the envelope for the roof instead of shingles, and it uh, turns the building into a little mini power plant. That's very, that's very cute. Uh, when we build energy efficient homes, we make a series of energy efficient choices. What were the main choices that you made as far as energy efficiency in your home? Well, Andrew, uh, as you well know, uh, energy efficiency starts with good insulation. Improving insulation makes all the other uh, decisions and choices easier and cheaper. So first, uh, I, I insulated the attic. Mm -hmm. It's now R50. And the basement, uh, since I moved into this house in the mid 80s, had never been um, insulated. Mm. So uh, after having lived with it for many years, I tore out the basement development that was uh, there since I purchased a home and put in a five inch foam insulation, which uh, basically brought it up to R30. Mm. And uh, then I renovated uh, the basement after that. Um, the home also has uh, triple pane windows and, uh, and uh, um, those front and back doors have, have uh, built-in blinds that also uh, add insulation to the house. Okay. So what about your mechanical systems? Well, as part of the, before the renovations, uh, just so we're underway, I installed a heat exchange ventilator and uh, it went in before the walls were drywalled and the ceiling installed. I see it just in the uh, in the left of the picture in the back, just underneath where your hand is. That's the that the heat recovery ventilator there. That's correct. Yes. Okay. All right, and then lighting appliances, things like that. Well, um, uh, I, I changed out all the incandescent bulbs and added LEDs. This was uh, several years ago when LEDs were just starting to make their way into the marketplace. Um, you also have active solar heating, I understand. What, 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 
what can you show us about that? Well, uh, in doing the basement renovations, uh, I pre-plumbed uh, the basement to be ready for solar heating. And uh, I, there are three radiators that I installed um, at floor level. And then after the renovation was complete, um, Simple Solar installed their solar thermal system on the roof and connected the water pipes. Uh, what's uh, most visible from the street uh, uh, at my house is a solar thermal collector on the roof. And you can also see the water tank in the, in the basement that connects the roof to the radiators on the floor. Okay, um, I think there's another slide there. Yeah, oh, yes. Okay. Go. Well, let me, yeah, yeah. Get, uh, the guts of the system is a glycol, uh, is a glycol um, pumping system. So glycol goes from the basement up to the collector on the roof, and there it picks up heat and brings it down into a heat exchanger that sits in that water tank I showed you in the basement. Uh, when the heated water in the tank gets above 50 degrees Celsius, a, a valve, a hydronic valve, you can see it right there, automatically opens and circulates the water into the radiators to heat the house. Interesting. Um, another important area is uh, water saving costs. Uh, any features of your home that help you save water? Yes, we have uh, low flow toilets in the house as well. I see. Okay, what other unique features on your home do you want to show us? And I think you were going to talk about this garden studio. Yes, well, the accessory garden studio was uh, constructed with walls made with magnesium oxide uh, cement. It's fireproof, waterproof, uh, pest proof, uh, very durable, long lasting, and it's a building component system from MGO Systems here in Calgary. You can see it being erected. And then uh, once it was up, we uh, put the uh, frames down uh, to mount the solar array. Yeah, so those those frames actually attach right to the to the roof and then and then they they're actually waterproof, are they not? Once they you are. put the solar uh, module on top of that, they actually create a waterproof surface. That's very interesting. I think That's you have right. some additional slides of this. There we go. Well, this is um, this is what the um, garden studio looks like uh, when it's complete. It's uh, very beautifully finished and uh, multifunctional. Um, so those are pre-insulated panels that go up all together? Uh, that's correct. Yes, they nice. are. Okay. Um, so, th so they uh, have a very high insulation value. And, um, and I also I sh should also say that uh, as part of the renovations, uh, I wanted to um, add solar panels to an existing garden shed to see how that new framing system could be installed alongside uh, shingles. So there you can sort of see it under construction. And so essentially you were acting as the prototype in Canada for this new uh, this new solar roofing system. That's correct, Andrew. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so what were the key costs that you came up with uh, in build in renovating your efficient home? Tell me a bit more about that. Well, I think certainly the biggest costs were installing the solar hot water and the solar <laughs> electrical powers uh, arrays. Um, these uh, went in in 2014 and costs have dropped uh, a great deal uh, since mm -hmm. I put up the first solar PV array. Um, I did an analysis a couple of years ago. I estimated that uh, my reduced costs compared to what I invested were probably giving me about 5% per year. Mm. Um, and I didn't get any rebates for any of my project costs. So since pulling, uh, putting in the solar systems, uh, a carbon tax on natural gas has been mm. brought in. Uh, my solar hot water system reduces the amount of natural gas I'd otherwise use. So, so the more natural gas I avoid using, the more carbon tax I also avoid pain. So since I did my analysis, uh, the carbon tax has gone up and so my cost avoidance has gone up as well. Mm. Um, I guess I could uh, perhaps uh, suggest that uh, my 
return on investment might be as high as 6%. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not a blow out the door rate of return, but it's better than I would have earned if I had kept my money in a term deposit at the bank. That's, uh, that's definitely true. So is there anything that you would have done differently in the upgrades to your home? Well, the next big step would be to put more insulation in the outer walls. Uh, the drawback from doing that is that I would it would mean I'd have to remove and replace the siding as well. So um, um, that's what's held me back from making that move. It's a big job. So, I, yeah, I understand. Um, so what aspect of your home would you say is the most satisfying to complete? Well, I, I think I get the most satisfaction from having installed the uh, CHP power building integrated solar system on this garden shed. Uh, as I mentioned, it eliminates the need for shingles and the frames go directly on the roof, mm -hmm. turning it into a little power plant. Um, I don't have to worry about uh, removing the solar system when the shingles have to be replaced uh, by using solar modules themselves instead of shingles. I'm really not worried about the longevity of the roof. That's going to be there for years, probably. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm so, really pleased with the way it looks. It's kind of cool. And, uh, it is. <laughs> for, uh, yeah, and uh, futuristic looking. Very nice. So is there anybody you'd like to thank who helped you design or construct your home? Yes, well, I, I think the, the uh, ah. CHE Power provided a roofing solution, MGO um, uh, systems built the, uh, the, the uh, building and uh, Simple Solar provided the hot water P system. And they also put the PV system on my roof. Uh, my good friend, Mark uh, Bruni uh, was the manager of my renovation project back in 2014. Very interesting that you're able to get involved in that prototype. Uh, that's a very interesting looking uh, system. So yeah. thank you uh, very much, Bob, for joining me today and sharing pictures of your home. I am looking forward to uh, coming and taking a look at that when we get an opportunity. Also want to thank our Echo Solar Home Tour sponsors. Our sponsors offer many interesting services to help you build an energy efficient home and we encourage you to visit them. Please visit our website to find links to all of our sponsors. To find out more about our tour homes, tour dates, and sponsors, please go to our website at www.echosolar.ca. We'll see you on the tour. Thanks for watching.